In this quickie, I'm going to show you how to get greater detail in your area clearance cuts. Let's get on the computer and get started. Okay, imagine, if you will, that this is a very detailed object that you're trying to do a pocket or an area clearance on. Obviously, this isn't very complex, but in this case, this area and this area are obviously smaller than this area. So if we go to an area clearance toolpath, we open that up, um, we're going to do a depth of 0.75, and, and these are all relative numbers, just so I can show you this trick. So we're going to do 0.75 as a depth. We're going to add a tool. We're going to use a quarter-inch end mill. We're going to select. I'm going to go down through here, offset, and I'm going to calculate. I have to set up the material thickness, obviously. Okay, and we're not going to worry about names and all of that stuff, but we're trying to cut an area clearance out of this entire object. So I'll calculate. And as you can see, it's only cutting this area here. Reason being is very simple. You have a quarter inch end mill. This distance is smaller or narrower than a quarter of an inch. So the machine and the software will not go into that area. There's a simple workaround. It's a simple trick. Let me show you. Go back to your tool paths. And not a lot of folks know this, or I should say some folks don't know this, but you can actually add a second, a third, and fourth tool. So you go back to the tool selection side of your area clearance toolpath and you click add once more and add another tool. Add a smaller one, an eighth inch. Let's see what that'll do. So we scroll back down and we calculate now. So now the eighth inch is hitting these corners as you can see. Let me zoom in just a touch here. It's hitting these corners because it can get into a finer corner with a smaller bit and it is now going down through this area of the carb. Again, it's not small enough to get everything. Let's go back and grab another tool. In this case, we'll grab a 16th inch end mill and we'll recalculate. And now you can see that it's grabbing the entire object. Now, an end mill is never going to cut a sharp interior corner. We all know that. If you wanted to do a sharp interior corner, I would switch to a V-carve on this object. But if, if we're talking about detail and trying to get into to as tight a spot as possible, Continue to add end mills until you get down as far as you can and get in as tight as you can and it will improve your area clearance cuts. So that is how you make an area clearance as detailed as possible using strictly end mills. Hope you got something out of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next quickie.